Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also have a lot of other lifestyle mommy content here on my channel, plus size fashion, beauty, what's for dinner videos, decorating, all that type of stuff. So if any of you like that um, type of content, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join your little family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be a, another gift guide video. It is what I got my daughter for her fourth birthday. Um, I did make my oldest, Olive, she turned six. I did make her a uh, gift guide. So if you're interested in kind of a little bit older than four, um, you can go back to hers. That was in November. I'll try to remember to put a card. I also have her fifth birthday gift guide. Um, last year, I'm just... Uh, film. I did film Ellie's, um, Eleanor's when she turned three, but it was really like right as the pandemic kind of like went off and I think we were all kind of panicking and it just didn't, didn't get posted. So now, um, we, we've gotten used to it, haven't we? But I didn't want to miss out on this year's, so I'm going to share with you guys what I got her for her first her fourth birthday. Um, I also like this idea or to share their birthday gift guides, not just because it's good ideas for their, you know, birthdays and girls around you and little ones you have around that same age range, but also because um, their birthdays are right before kind of gift giving holidays. Olive's is right before Christmas and Eleanor's is right before Easter. And a lot of times their gifts kind of coordinate with the holidays, um, especially Eleanor's because as warmer weather comes in, she has more kind of toys, toys, why does that not sound right? Toys geared towards like warmer weather and fun outings. And a lot of times that's what a lot of their Easter baskets are geared around too. So I wanted to share these ideas with you to give you some ideas for not only just birthdays, but also other gift giving holidays. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you are wondering, yes, I dyed my hair back to blonde. We're in a process right now. It is very much a golden blonde that I'm not super in love with, but I wanted to give it a rest before we tried to bleach it one more time um, because I don't want to it all to fall out. I've made it this far with growing out my hair back in a ponytail right now. I've made it this far. It's been a year and I got in here. I don't want to lose it now. So yes, I did dye my hair back blonde. I think it's my first video since I've had it back blonde. Um, so Eleanor's kind of birthday theme this year is mermaids. She picked it out. And so my mom um, is hosting a big party. And by big, I mean six people, um, our quarantine bubble that it's always been. Um, and she's having a little party there for Eleanor and it is mermaid themed and we are gonna have dinner and she gets to have a sleepover at my mom's, which my mom is just like both girls just still adore so much and we'll have presents and cake and all of those fun things. Um, but this is actually Eleanor's second birthday during quarantine. So it's uh, going to be a little bit different again this year, um, but we still want to do something. And she's been um, making the decision throughout the whole year. She decided this last year and she stuck with it, um, is that she wanted to get her ears pierced like her big sister. So um, that is what we're gonna take her to go do is get her ears pierced. Um, she, We've talked to her through the whole situation, the whole process, and we didn't want to blindside her and not tell her it didn't hurt because I feel like that would cause some trust issues. And I didn't want her to have to feel like, oh my gosh, why is this hurting? So she knows that it's gonna hurt, that it's gonna pinch a little bit, um, but she's fully prepared. The kid has a really high pain tolerance, so I don't really think it's gonna phase her much, but um, she is aware that it's gonna hurt a little bit, and um, but she's totally wanting to go through with it. That's what she wants really badly. So we're gonna take her to get her ears pierced. Um, and then afterwards, she wants to go to Claire's. So they have watched a bunch of Claire's videos, like Anya and Elsia go to Claire's, and like little, like other little kids and stuff go shopping to Claire. I don't know. It's like Disneyland for them. That's all they want to do is go to Claire's. So we're gonna take them to Claire's after and let them both kind of have fun and shop around. Hopefully, there's not a whole lot of crowds. We're trying to go go as early as we can, so we don't see anybody or really have a big issue with um, seeing a lot of people. But that is what she's doing. All right, so I filmed this like 15 times and something keeps happening, so. We're doing it live. Um, do you guys remember that Bill O'Reilly thing? That's like something that lives in my head rent free. It's crazy. If you've never seen it, Google Bill O'Reilly, like we're doing it live, it's insane. Anyway, um, the first thing I'm sharing with you is Eleanor's birthday dress. I know birthday outfits maybe not be a technical gifts, but it was always something my mom did when I was growing up and it just made everything so much more special. 
and so um, I want her to be able to have that too so um, she actually picked this one out she's pretty picky normally I would just surprise them with a pretty dress but she's pretty picky so I let her pick out the one she wanted um, and she picked out this like I said before her birthday is a mermaid theme and so she picked out a very mermaid-esque dress with this really pretty ombre sparkly bodice that goes from purple to blue and then the same with the tulle skirt goes from purple to blue and it comes in like little layers like a little cupcake really pretty and then it has like a satin lining skirt um, it's nice and full and it looks so pretty on her this is actually from cat and jack from target and it is from the little girl section not the toddler section so it is actually um an extra small four or five now eleanor is incredibly petite and really 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 tiny and so it's kind of gapy on the sides of her um but that's okay because i'd rather it be big than sm too small and that way she can wear it to breakfast i don't know where are we going these days anyway this was 28 dollars, which is a bit pricey in my opinion but you know what she's probably gonna wear it for easter at home you know we're just we're just, we're just working with it so it was a beautiful dress all right i'm just cutting in to say that i actually ended up going and finding this at walmart eleanor really likes the mermaid dress but she's been complaining that even just trying on that the bodice is itchy with all the glitter now eleanor is super super sensitive to that type of stuff so if your little one isn't it may not be a problem but um she was aware of it and i didn't want to you know practically waste 29 dollars. so instead i found this and i thought she would really really like it this is technically jojo um it was only 14.96 so way cheaper than the other dress um it's jojo but it's not overly jojo like there's no jojo name on it you only can kind of tell it's jojo by bobo but i don't even know if she'll know i mean she likes jojo but it's not like crazy jojo siwa but i thought this was like isn't this the most fun cute like little it's like so birthday to me i love it it's so fun and summery and springy this is super super soft so i don't think she'll have a problem um next uh eleanor asked for for her birthday i pretty much went basically on what she asked for um ollie i try to go with what she's interested in and kind of go around that eleanor is still so little um and i'm really trying to figure out really where her interests are starting to grow and develop into and so I'll kind of just let her tell me what do you want for her birthday so she found different things that she really liked and from different categories so we went with that so the first thing she asked for was some more makeup. So she got a couple items for Christmas, um, but not a whole lot. And her sister has a bit more and she just really wants her own set and collection. So first thing I got um, her, and hopefully she will share with her sister, is a new pack of makeup brushes. Their makeup brushes are disgusting. They're falling apart. Some are missing their handles. They're nasty. They desperately needed a new set. So I found this one on Amazon. It has this really pretty purple holographic um, case, which I really liked. Um, hopefully they remember to put them back in it we'll see um but it was a set of unicorn horned unicorn horn brushes which i really thought was so fun they love anything that's unicorn rainbow butterfly fairy mermaid tie-dye right now so um all of these pretty much fit the bill on that one so this is a powder brush and it's just really pretty iridescent unicorn horn and has a really beautiful rainbow, super, super soft bristles. Um, there is a little bit of shedding I've noticed now that I've like looked at them, but honestly, like we're not looking for Bobby Brown quality brushes. You know what I'm saying? We're just looking for some basic brushes that they can use. They're little, they probably won't notice the shedding. All I really cared about is just that they were soft and weren't gonna scratch their face or their eye area. And these are definitely really, really soft. So, um, but they're really pretty. I mean, they're, they're so pretty, they look so fairy tale. So I know that they are both gonna love them, but especially Eleanor, I'm really excited. Hopefully she shares with her sister. Otherwise, probably have to get Ollie a set. So anyway, they come with face brushes as well as eye brushes and it's nice. Um, I got these off of Amazon. Like I do all of my gift guides, I will try and have everything linked down below. And I would really appreciate if you wanted to shop those affiliate links. It means the world to me. It helps support this channel. It helps support my family. And I appreciate it so much when you guys do. So these are, or this is her first official gift, some makeup brushes. Um, next thing I got her is this eyeshadow palette. All I got eyeshadow for Christmas time and Eleanor has really, really wanted it. I thought about getting the same exact palette, but I was worried that they didn't end up finding on whose is whose and it would just be a mess. So instead I got Eleanor her own individual one that's different. And this is from Beauty Glaze. This is a pretty popular 
uh, brand on Amazon. Um, it had good reviews. This is the Over the Color Fusion Over the Rainbow palette. So you can expect that it is rainbow. Um, that's all they care about is fun, pretty, bright colors. The brighter the better in my opinion because the less of a mess it makes on the carpet. Um, anyway, so all of these are pre predominantly matte besides this middle row which are a bit larger pants and are shimmers. They're really pretty. This is really fun. Um, I'm not sure how the pigment tape, the pigmentation is and like just like the high quality aspect of it. Um, but at the end of the day she's four so. I don't think she's really looking for that either. For me, I would probably like be curious, but um, it's fine. She will still be happy with it. And I, yes, I know that my children are young, but I let them experiment with makeup and have a good time and just learn and try it out and have fun. Mommy wears makeup and they see me model that behavior and I want them to have fun and kind of learn how to express themselves. So yes, they wear makeup. They don't wear full face, like out on the town. Don't you worry. Um, anyway, moving on. Eleanor saw these at Hobby Lobby during Valentine's when we were shopping for Valentine's Day decor. Holy crap, these things were $20 during Valentine's Day. Valentine, Valentine's time. There's no chance in heck that I would have spent $20 on this. However, now everything from Valentine's Day is 90% off. So they had a ton of these left. So check your local Hobby Lobby if you think that you have someone you know that would love these. But these are basically just four packs of press on nails. Um, and four different designs that are LOL themed. I think these are probably way too large for her little nail beds um, and probably fall off in the first five seconds. But you know what? She is happy and is excited and they cost next to nothing. Um, but there's no chance in heck I would have spent the original price on these. Now, if you can get your hands on these, they come in individual packs. So it may be nice for um, Easter. Again, this would be like a fun little thing for a little girl's Easter basket if you know anybody who's really into LOL um, and you can get such a good price on these. But otherwise, I wouldn't have bought them. Um, the next thing, like I mentioned, Eleanor is getting her ears pierced. That is her big birthday thing um, to do. I don't know, extravaganza, I don't know, <laughs> anyway. Um, and so she will pick the earrings, you know, that you can get from the piercer um, and then let them heal for, I think it's six to eight weeks. And then afterwards I bought her a new pair of earrings just so she could have, you know, start her collection, if you will. Um, these are from Amazon. I actually had bought a, I purchased a pair during Christmas for Ollie off of Amazon and I loved them. They were really high quality um, and she still has them in her ears and she has really sensitive earlobes like I do. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that I bought something that was nice and uh, sensitive for Eleanor just in case she has that same situation, which I'm assuming she probably will. So these I think, I believe are nickel free sterling silver little earrings they're adorable um like i said i got them off of amazon let me try to see if it focuses for you um but basically they are like opal-esque little um stones and then they have little ears and a unicorn horn i just think that they're adorable and so sweet and will go with everything she has um, they are screw back, which are really, really nice for little ones because a lot of times with the regular backing, they can slip off and they lose the earring. That's happened more times than I want to admit for Olive. Um, but I'm hoping these will stick or stay well into Eleanor's ears. They're also a really good size for her little lobes. They aren't super oversized. Um, these were about, I think they were under $20. Um, so a little bit more expensive than like maybe your average like target pair of earrings but nice quality and good for sensitive little earlobes i really really love amazon's earring selection for little girls they have a ton of really good um, options so i highly recommend it they, those would be really fun for an easter basket as well all right moving on um both of my girls watch this toy channel I, I keep wanting to say toy cupcake but i do not think that's what it is i think her profile is a cupcake but i think it's toy caboodle Anyway, she's a woman who does toy videos. The girls love her. They see all their new toys come out through her and all that type of stuff. And so recently she had a video where she featured these, which are the Rainbow High Fantasy Friends. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time this past year and you've watched my gift guides, you will know that my girls are obsessed with Rainbow High. That is what all of us were for Christmas. That is what Eleanor asked for for Christmas. That is, they have pretty much the whole collection. They play with them all the time. That is their like thing. Anyway. 
um, they saw these and loved them and they both really, really wanted them. Now, I got two. Both of them will be given to uh, Eleanor for her birthday, but I wanted to be able to, for them both to be able to share them. Now, these are kind of equivalent to what I would imagine like the LOL OMG, like the Teenage Sisters, like the Rainbow High, and like the Little Sisters that the LOL has. So these are kind of like the Little Sisters. Um, they have like their own outfits and all that type of stuff, um, but super cute. The only thing is these freaking things, why they had to add this in here. They create glitter slime. So you're supposed to shove the liquid into the doll, she spits out slime, and then you, this little, this little, this little thing <laughs> is just sprays glitter. Like why is that a thing for kids? Oh my gosh. They just want to ruin parents' lives, I feel like. Um, Anyway, slime in my house is pretty much forbidden at this point. Like every time, every time we do slime, I immediately regret it. The dolls are really cute. That's the main reason they wanted them anyway, to have to be their little sisters of the Rainbow High dolls. So this next thing is a kind of her bigger gift. It's not super expensive, but it is her bigger gift. And this is something she's asked, been asking for. And it's the LOL Dance 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 Machine. So the new LOL line is like the dance, dance, dance line, I suppose, and they're all black light um, dolls. Really adorable. I really like the line. Um, but Eleanor has been wanting the LOL car like this for a long time. Um, and then she switched to the glamper and asked that form from Santa. And let me tell you, when I showed you guys that glamper in my Christmas gift guide, literally every one of you was like, don't do it. <laughs> Return it. And I wish that I had listened because that thing is the biggest piece of junk ever. It does not stay together. Like the concept is great. And I feel like if it stayed together and did what it was supposed to, it would be great. But for whatever reason, plastic toys now literally just fall apart. Like you just, and they just fall apart. She would play with it way more often, but she gets so frustrated that it falls apart all the time. As soon as they get much use out of it, I would never recommend those things again. So now I'm a little bit concerned that LOL like actual like sets are not great. So I'm hoping that this is an exception because it is just like kind of a basic car, like a Barbie car. So fingers crossed it works. It has like black light on it to light up all the dolls. Um, and I believe it's like a hot tub of sorts. I don't know. I'm just hoping it doesn't fall apart because then I w will refuse to buy any more LOL sets. Um, she also, I will include the pictures of the two LOL OMG dolls that she's asking for. Um, she's asking for this particular one. Um, and I think Olive is going to be getting her this one. And then there's another one that I think is called Virtual or futurelle or another one in the same line that's really cool i have her picture up she's freaking beautiful and has hot pink hair and she like pretty much all glows with a black light and she wants her too so that may be something that my brother gets i don't know but those are the other two kind of things that she's really asking for and she'll definitely be getting one from olive so i will keep you updated i will say i'm so into synthwave everything right now so is my husband that whoa that this like it got us both him and i were like all right <laughs> because it was synth wave so you know i don't know anyway it's pretty cool i just hope it actually is cool um this is the mar barbie marby barbie dreamtopia mermaid nursery now the reason that i ended up getting this is because one her, her whole theme is mermaid but two i like to get water friendly toys for eleanor around this time of year slash for all of during like Easter or their birthdays because of how much fun that they have with water and toys, especially as the weather starts warming up in the summertime. Um, and so they desperately needed some new like pool friendly Barbies or something to play with um, in that aspect. So we went with this. Now this has like a whole play set that we probably will not bring bringing into the water, but she can be, I think it all can go in the water, but she also has like the baby and then Barbie and then Chelsea and you know, just like a whole little set. So I thought it was really pretty. And now they sell individual mermaid Barbies um, that will probably end up getting all of her Easter basket so she can play with her um, during the summertime and in the bath and all that type of stuff. So um, I think this is really, really adorable. This would be a really good, fun summer Barbie set. Um, but yeah, so we went with more dolls because like I said, we totally needed them. Anyway, um, the last two or last three items I wanna share with you are a little bit more unique to us 
Um, and But I'm really excited for them because I think this could be a really cool kind of like starting collection. The first thing I'm going to share with you are these Briar Unicorn Magic Wooden Carrying Case. And they come with six different colored, pastel colored unicorns. Now, Eleanor still, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that she's still obsessed with little figures. Shopkins, Hatchimals any small figurine toys like that she that's what she probably loves more than anything they're still her prized possession um she saw this and on amazon and was like freaked out and was like i need this and so um i was like just trying to like casually show her ideas of like what would you want for your birthday and this was something she just freaked out about so um it comes with this nice wooden carrying case like little stables for the unicorns it like hinges back up um this will be something she could easily carry to my mom's when she's having a sleepover or whenever else we're allowed to actually leave our home um and i really really liked it i think it's really fun it'll be a fun thing to play with all of for kind of an open-ended play um and so there's that this had really good reviews and it was on amazon and then, and I wanted to say that they also sell mystery bags for these unicorns. And so you can get more to add to the collection, but we didn't have enough space. So I thought this was good. We just need six to start. <laughs> and then lastly, and this is kind of the thing I'm really excited about, and I hope she's excited. I decided she asked for unicorns. She wanted unicorn toys. And so I started doing some research. I found these, showed them to her, the Briar ones, and she loved them. And then I found these and I thought this would be really cool because it mixes her love for figurines plus just like high quality things that can last a long time. And these are the Schleek um, figurine toys. So Schleek has a ton of am animal figurines and just like really, really beautiful model clay type of figures. Um, and this, the Bela, ba Bela, that sounded like the most Texan just this this one this name right here um is their like fantasy line so they have all of their fairy tale animals and creatures like fairies mermaids unicorns that type of stuff um and i thought this would be a perfect way to start her collection if she wanted to continue with like figurines um these are really really high quality nice figures um, they're hand painted. They're beautiful. I mean, they're beautiful. This is a unicorn, obviously, but it's like the mermaid themed one. They have a ton of different painted unicorns that you could go with. But since she's doing mermaid theme this year, I thought this was pretty apropos. Um, anyway, they have the stallion, the mare, and the fowl. I can't tell you if this is a stallion or mare. I picked the one and I can't tell you what it is. I want to say it's the mare, but it could very well be the stallion. I honestly can't tell you. I'm sure you could tell me. Anyway, but they have the stallion and the mare and the fowl. So I also ended up getting the little baby. So it could be like mama and baby or daddy and baby. Older sister, whomever and baby. Um, and I thought these would just be nice to start her collection. Um, she can continue if she really likes them. She can not, what have you. But they're something that will last a long time. And hopefully if she takes good care of them, these are something that would be nice. It'll be a display in her room. And she can pass them down to her littles as she gets older because they are such high quality. Now, these are pretty pricey little suckers. These are, this one is, I think this was like 20 bucks or something for its own little self crazy expensive but like i said schleek is known well or well known for being a high quality brand um my only concern is they are like these would not be for little little littles um because they are sharp they are pieces on the body that can be really sharp so that would be my only concern if you wanted to get them for little kids um so just to be careful of that but they're beautiful they have a ton of animals so like if unicorns are not up your alley or your kids alley they have like every animal under the sun so google them they're great um like i said i got the fowl and if she wants to add to her collection she very may well can it'd be fun to add to gifts throughout the years it's just kind of a cool, cool tradition i thought would be kind of fun to start and something different and unique that she doesn't have so it isn't plastic like barbie and lol and something's gonna break like these things are meant to, are made to last so that is it that is Hopefully this worked, this take worked. Anyway, 
thank you guys so much for watching if you are a big fan of my gift guides my Easter what I got my kids for Easter video will be up really soon I'm just trying to do the finishing shopping and ideas I've been kind of twisting things around this year and I'm really excited to share that one with you um, I will also either include in that video what I got my husband for Easter or I will make a separate video let me know below what you would like to see if you want to just include it in that video or if you want it to be separate um, and or if you also want a kind of what to get for her for Easter whether you have a teenage daughter a daughter-in-law your mom whomever um, just some ideas for them as well I think could be really fun so my kids are fighting as per usual in all of my videos that is the life of stay at home mom during a pandemic so I hope you enjoyed this video my Easter video will be coming really soon so keep an eye out for it um, and thank you guys so much if you haven't decided to subscribe I hope that you end up doing so I'm so glad to have you here thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video Bye, guys.